Gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you all to the first ever Horde Duo Transmog competition. You and your friend have both been invited here today to compete for the chance to win first place in this competition. The two of you must have a transmog that matches together, that looks good not only by yourselves, but also with your partner. Two clowns together? I call that a circus. Hopefully we won't have any here. Twin dragon riders. Both with the full? I mean, this is a full set. We got double full set Andes? What's this? Oh, okay, okay. No, now they're not full set Andes. All right. So they both have the full maximum corruption resistant the corruption gear on them. And one of them's using the male muncher. The other one's using the wriggling parasite. Actually, I, that, that actually might be the black Nazoth mount, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see here. So these basically look like evil Power Rangers. So we've got, they're both, I think, Paladins, aren't they? Yeah, uh, one's a DK, one's a Paladin. Using Ashbringer there, the shoulders there from Cruel Gladiator set for uh, for Paladins and um, uh, in Legion. The helmet gloves uh, from the Antorus DK set. The belt there from the Paladin set from Tomb of Sargeras. That tabard there from, I think that's the, I don't, I don't know what tabard that is actually. And uh, the boots there from Nylotha. All right, that looks pretty cool. And then you've got this one over here with the uh, the black hand and uh, the shoulders there from Mythic Blackrock Foundry for Warriors. The chest piece there from, uh, I think that's uh, Throne of Thunder. Is it Throne of Thunder? Oh, it is. Okay, I see. All right, that's cool. Uh, chest piece there from the um, uh, Tier 14 DK set. Uh, leggings there from the DK uh, Tier 10 Heroic 25-man set. Boots there from Mythic Blackrock Foundry. Gloves from, again, uh, Normal Mode and Taurus. And... Um, what do you guys think about these two sets? You guys like these? And you can get on mounts if you want. You don't have to get on mounts. It's completely, uh, they're completely optional. Check their cloaks. Okay. Uh, I think it does look pretty good. Now, in terms of a duo, this is not good, but that is good. Um, in terms of a duo transmog, these sets are basically two versions of the same thing. I think they complement each other very well, and they do look kind of like blood decays. Like, this is what I would imagine if they ever had, like, you know, this would be Trash and Castle Nathria, basically. These are the elite guards. And I think the corruption on the gear does make a really good effect as well. A and also, Soul of Cinders, yeah, yeah, like a Dark Souls 3 character or something like that. It's a very good point. And um, also, whenever they get on the mounts together, I think that works out really well, too. So, I like this both, and uh, I think these are actually pretty good. What do you guys think? Villains out of an anime? Yeah, something like that. I think they actually look better on the mounts, personally. Yeah, there you go. 7 out of 10. All right, we'll take it seriously, and we'll move on. Good job, guys. Aubrey the Hollowed and Time Lord Dynamite Pink from Infinity Max. Um, hmm. This reminds me of, like, a... Yeah, they're witches or something like that, you know? It's kind of like, uh, they're almost like, it's like a Final Fantasy transmog in a weird way. Uh, it's like a, a white mage or something like that. I don't know. It's the first thing I think of, at least. So the helmet right there is from the, uh, the Hollow's End event. Those shoulders there are from, uh, I think that's, uh, what are those shoulders from? Is that from, uh, Hellfire Citadel? It's hard to say. And then that staff there is from the five-man dungeons in, uh, in Wrath of the Lich King. Over here, we've got the Spire of, Sarga of Sargeras. Uh, that helmet there is from five-man dungeons and, uh, Cataclysm. Shoulders here are from, I believe, Nylotha as well. Gloves there come from Antorus. And uh, overall belt, and I think boots also come from Mentors as well. Um, these are, are these the Wizards of Oz? No troll feet? Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's actually a really good point. Yeah, no troll feet is a big, big bonus. Could be better, but overall, I think this is okay. Uh, I don't think that there's a lot of synergy, though. So what I've seen with these two sets here is it's basically just like two characters that are next to each other. Uh, I don't really see any real strong synergy. I felt like there was more synergy between the other one. Lady and gentleman, but you're both girls. Like, how does that work? I, I, I don't understand. Don't Actually, don't tell me. I, I, I don't want to know. Yeah, these sets are okay. Not amazing, but okay. Oh, wow. The theme is if the Sun Reavers join the Iron Horde. What the fuck? This is incredible. Headmistress Jinzin and Flamekeeper Leolith. What the fuck? This is so good. Oh my god. I, I, I'm genuinely impressed. 
So the helmet right there, uh, let, let's start on the uh, on the left again. The helmet right there is the, uh, uh, that is the Midsummer Fire Festival helmet. Those shoulders right there come from Mythic Hellfire Citadel. The belt there comes from uh, Mythic Siege of Orgrimmar for Paladins and sort of the gloves. Uh, the leggings and the, uh, actually, what are these boots here? Uh, I don't know what boots those are. I think those might actually come from Eternal Palace, but I'm not 100%. Uh, but the leggings there come from Tier 11 Heroic Mode. And um, let's see, and the tabard again is from apparently Isle of... Uh, Nax boots. Oh, those are Nax boots. I didn't even notice that. Okay. And then the, the weapon there is the, um, uh, it's a two-handed weapon from Tyrant Valhari and, uh, Hellfire Citadel. Uh, this is a really, really nice set on the left. Like, objectively, this is a great set. And then over on the right here, we've got the Blackrock Foundry shoulders. Same tabard as well. I think the matching tabards work very well, especially, oh, I didn't even notice the tabard. Oh, the Throne of Thunder. Not Throne of Thunder. Yeah, the Throne of Thunder. Uh, it's got the little thing there right next to him, too. That's so fucking good. Well, they're part of the same faction. It's what makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. And uh, the helmet there comes from uh, Legion questing, and the staff there, I think, comes from the Legion, like the Mage Class Order Hall or something. I don't remember, honestly. Um, I, I really like this set a lot. What do you guys think about this one? I, I think this is probably the most impressive one that we've seen so far. Like, I, I really like this a lot. Weapon, yeah, look at the weapons that match. Uh, the tabards match. The shoulders match in their own unique way. This is fucking amazing. Like, I, I, I'm genuinely impressed by this. This guy did a great fucking job. And they absolutely deserve a certain amount of recognition for it. This is a great fucking great job. 10 out of 10, I want to sex them. Well, guys, don't get too ahead of yourselves. It was only Rich that said that. So that's just, you know, pretty well. You know, low bar. Anyway. Really, really good set, guys. Great fucking set. Oh, what is this? Tamer, Dat Boy, Pepe, and Azul. So we have a... All I'm saying is we kind of stood next to the best-looking Mog in the whole group. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's what I said. I said it multiple times, you know, it's like it's like a fucking school project. You have to go after the, you know, the fucking the smartest people in the class. And it's like, uh, yeah, so about volcanoes, guys. Listen, this set's actually pretty good. This is actually a pretty good set. So you've got like kind of the Blade Master vibe. All right. All right. You know what? That actually looks really, really fucking good. Uh, th this is good. So you've got the uh, the, the shadow pan mounts right there, uh, the eye band there. That's a cursed vision of Sargeras and uh, helmet and helmet there. Which helmet is? Where's this from? Is this from Tomb of Sargeras? Not Tomb of Sargeras. Uh, Throne of Thunder. I don't remember. Um, regardless, I kind of like the. It's all. You know what this reminds me of? It's like almost if they uh, if they made Drek'thar a girl, and they made Thrall like kind of like a blood elf or something. I don't know. I just think of like Thrall and Drek'thar whenever I think of these two uh, these two characters. But I guess it does make more sense whenever you talk about you know them being Shadowpan Shadowpan uh, wardens or something like that. That that doesn't make as much sense. Yeah, I guess not. Um, I, I think I was just talking mainly in terms of colors. But you're right. Whenever you talk about like the swords and everything like that, I guess yeah. You know what? No, you guys are right. I'm wrong. Now that I'm looking at it from that perspective, I was only look at I was only looking at it from the perspective of like a, of the game. But you're right. This is like a traditional, like, these are two NPCs that you would see in Sekiro. Yeah, th these are two NPCs you guys would see in Sekiro. Uh, this is fucking awesome, and I like it a lot. Uh, you have your own aesthetic going on, and it's really, really interesting. And, and also, like, uh, I like the, one thing I like about the set a lot, and, like, this set is also very good, but this set does it better, is that there's a juxtaposition between the two characters, and you have one character that's like heavily armored and the other character that has no armor on and is wearing a blindfold. This bitch is crazy, okay? Think about that. I like the boobs. <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> hey, they're good, they're good, dude. Yeah, this is really good. Master and Disciple, exactly. Oh, I saw this in Pulp Fiction. Yeah, I've, I've seen this before. That's good. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we know what this is. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Vanquisher, Thrak, and Backstab the Faceless One. So, uh, camp? yeah, yeah. So what are you guys supposed to be? What, what, what are you guys supposed to be? I, I feel like I'm a, I feel like it's Halloween, you know? Yeah, I get the camp. Yeah, yeah. Um, regardless, so obviously, like, uh, Geist Escapers. 
Okay. Okay, you know what? That looks pretty good. So um, uh, those shoulders right there come, I think, Eternal Palace, the helmet there is, uh, both of the helmets come from uh, the uh, ICC, uh, ICC Rogue set, and uh, legs there come from 8.2, uh, Benthic gear, and I don't know where the, a lot of the rest of these pieces come from. What weapons are they using? Uh, that weapon right there is the uh, Mythic Fang of the Pit that comes from Manoroth and Mythic Hellfire Citadel, and these daggers right here are from, uh, those daggers are, oh yeah, those are from uh, Nylotha. Uh, I don't remember which boss they're from, though, to be honest. Uh, I really, really like this set a lot. Uh, I've always liked this helmet a lot because it's kind of unique. Like, there's no other helmet in the game besides maybe the Hunter helmet from the Siege of Orgrimmar set, but it's very different in terms of theme. This helmet, I think, is very unique and really, really cool. What do you guys think about it? It's Big Daddy from Bioshock? Yeah, well, I, I, you could say that, right? Junkrat and Roadhog? I don't really think it's the same thing. I think it'd be Junkrat and Roadhog if it, they were maybe like a Kul Tiran and like a... Uh, you know, a human or something like that, uh, but not not this. I, I wouldn't say. And uh, yeah, this is really really cool. Uh, I like it a lot. It's spooky, and I, I also like one thing that I think is really good about this is that the glows on the weapons match the helmets. So you see, like the glows on those weapons match the helmet here. The glow on those weapons match the helmet here, and the theme of the two sets fits together very well. And I like it a lot because of that. This is really really good. Nice job. Great work. Bodyguard to Arathi, the mighty adventurer from the sands of Oldham. Golf the pilgrim and uh, Arathi Pog from the guild Resurrection Sickness. Hmm. So I want to say I really like the idea and the theme behind this. And I need to get this mount, man. Yeah, I need to get this mount. That was really good. That's actually, yeah, it's sick. Uh, I think, I, I think more realistically, Gal should be the one riding because he's the bodyguard and he's like kind of leading the girl around. It's like kind of what would make sense, but um, not because she's a girl, because he's the bodyguard. And uh, but overall, I think this is pretty good. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see you guys already fucking. Yeah, he's already fucking coming at it. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it just makes more sense, man. He's the bodyguard. He should be going in front, man. She's the one doing the exploring. Yeah, I guess you could make an argument the other way around, too. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the gear. So this staff right here, uh, what staff is this? Oh, this is one of the staffs that we are able to get, I think, from the uh, the Monk starting zone. I'm not 100% sure about that, though. And um, I don't really have, like, I'm not familiar a lot with, like, Monk gear. And uh, this sword right here is a random drop. Uh, it's a random shared boss drop sword from Normal Mode Firelands. And it drops from all bosses besides from Ragnaros. I don't think it drops from Ragnaros. I'm not 100% though on that. And uh, all the rest of the pieces are just assorted random BOE. Uh, uh, not BOE, but uh, assorted random. Mostly gear from... Um, I really like the weapons. Dude, the way the weapons look is fucking awesome. Holy shit. How do you even get that? Is that a special illusion? Stinging Sands. That is fucking cool, man. Uh, it's the Wrath Illusion? Yeah, I guess so. I need to do that. That is really, really awesome. So the bodyguard, I think that the, you know, him being a bodyguard and being like very, you know, armored and like not armored, right? It's leather armor, but um, it's kind of the same thing. I, I think this matches really well. Then in terms of her being an explorer, I think this is a perfect explorer transmog, especially whenever you're talking about like going out with a camel and, you know, that like kind of implies some sort of desert setting. So she has like a canteen right there. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like this is a very, very well put together set that tells a story in a coherent way. What do you guys think? I, I, I like this a lot. This is, this is really good. Yeah, no backpack is missed opportunity. Um, well, yeah, maybe, but maybe not. It could be much. Yeah, this is really interesting and, and, and really cool. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, Explorer set looks poggers. Or does, it look, does it really look poggers, dude? Well, uh, one way or another, I think this is very, very well done. Backpack would be overkill since three set pieces. That makes a lot of sense, see? Uh, it's a good decision by her. Uh, the backpack also doesn't really make a whole lot of sense either. I, I think this is really good. I think the bodyguard could be better. I actually like the bodyguard a lot. Uh, I think this is a really cool looking set. 
And I think, like, with the bodyguard, having it be a little scuffed almost makes more sense. Because he's a fucking bodyguard, you know? Like, the guy's not... He's not, like, trying to look good. You know, he's just trying to beat people's ass. Uh, regardless, this is a very, very good transmog, uh, transmog uh, combination, guys. Great work. Wake up, McCool. What the fuck? Dude. Damn, dude. This is the Diablo set? Yeah, you've got Lilith and Diablo right here. I like this a lot. This is some fucking goth shit right here. This is badass. So the shoulders, obviously, Xavier's shoulders. The weapons there is from the, uh, which weapons is that? That's the PvP artifact appearance of the Havoc Demon Hunter weapons. And that helmet right there is the rogue version of the mythic helmet from Nighthold. And then those leggings there are the rogue leggings from, I think that's, uh, I always forget which tier this is from. Is that Throne of Thunder? I, I always forget. And then, um, on Fire Lord Kearney, this, dude, this staff doesn't get nearly enough usage. I'd love to see Blizzard making a more, uh, yeah, the Humanoid Fellstalker. Yeah, it's fucking awesome, man. And uh, you've got the shoulders there. I really, really like the usage of these shoulders. These shoulders and this belt right here. Uh, I think, actually, I don't know about the belt. Uh, but the shoulders are from the, uh, the, t the Throne of Thunder Warlock set. And then the helmet, of course, comes from Mythic Tomb of Sargeras. And uh, the staff there comes from Illidan in, uh, in Black Temple. Uh, this is a really, really good combination, guys. What do you think about this? Oh, the cloak, dude, the cloak is nice, dude. The cloak is fucking nice, dude. Yeah, this is really, really fucking good, man. It looks like they could come right off of a of an album cover for Slipknot. Yeah, this is fucking perfect. Uh, I, I like it a lot. They're ready for D4? Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, this is a really, really good looking set. I think it's very well done. EU is popping off? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the, the, the all of these sets that we've seen so far... Um... Oh, I've been very impressive, especially these. Like, I, I really, really like this one, too. Uh, it, it works very, very well. And I think also, like, my favorite part about it is the difference between, like, the armor on, like, the two characters and then also the helmets. Uh, I think the two helmets matching in, like, a weird way makes it even better. Yeah, this is really, really good. What if it's just based off League? Well, it doesn't matter what it's based off of. I, I think that it looks really good no matter what. Uh, I, I like it a lot. Good job. We both got wings, too? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this set does look really, really fucking good. Nice job, guys. Weapon on Demon Hunter's hidden appearance, dude? Is it really? Is that the hidden artifact appearance? Shit, I thought it was more unique than that. I guess not. Yeah, great fucking work. Let's go to the next one. Oh, right here. I see. Comrade? <gasps> okay. So what are you guys supposed to be? I kind of, uh, I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah, I, I feel like the, um, yeah, what are you guys supposed to be? I, I think I like the Shaman a lot more than the Warrior one. Uh, I, I really, really like the Shaman one a lot. Because he looks like, you know, an elite fucking Shaman. The Warrior just looks like, uh, I don't know what he looks like. It's hard for me even to, uh, to explain it. But, um, full set Andes. These are not full sets, though. So, um, yeah, it's not the same thing. Um... <laughs> Yeah, Vlad and Dimitri. <laughs> okay, dude. Uh, regardless, I think these look really good. So obviously, um, this guy's uh, this guy's helmet right there is from uh, the uh, Mr. Pandaria Five Man Dungeon. Shoulders there come from the uh, Primal Gladiator Normal Mode set. That chest piece there comes from the uh, wa that's a Warmongering or Wild Gladiators uh, Warrior set. Gloves there, of course, the PVP gloves from Nylotha. Could actually be just from Nylotha. Same with the legs. Those leggings there that he has on. Those leggings are the I believe Normal Mode version of the Siege of Orgamar Warrior leggings that we almost never see. And then his boots are, of course, the Mythic Black. Rock Foundry boots we've seen a million times. And the sword here, is this the is this the Oh, okay, yeah, that's the uh that's also the Primal Gladiator's great sword. Or sorry, uh Decapitator, the axe. And then oh shit. Yo, these rushing transmogs are fucking imposing. Yeah, this shit is fucking imposing, man. God damn. Look at that. Uh yeah, I like it a lot. 
Uh, guy on the right's badass. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you got the helmet right there. That helmet right there comes from, uh, that's from, uh, fuck, Heart of Fear. That's set from there, tier 14. And then the shoulders here come from Nighthold. And then the uh, weapons there are from uh, Mythic, Cargath, Blade Fist, and High Maul. And the belt there comes from uh, uh, Throne of Thunder. This is, a, this is a really good combination. Now, I don't really feel like this set has a lot of synergy in terms of like a theme. But I think in terms of colors, it works very well together. What do you guys think about it? What do you guys think? Shaman looks terrifying. Yeah, I really, I like the red eyes on the Shaman. They fucking do it for me, man. They fucking do it for me. Uh, I like it a lot. It's a theme. Yeah, I like it a lot. I think it's very well done. Demon Lord and his minion. Not quite, but it does look really good. Let's go to the next one. Great job, guys. What the fuck? Kagrade the Astral Walker. Discord GG Asmongold. What the fuck? Goro High of the Deeps. I'm going to go Breakfast Club. You know what this looks like? I don't even know if that's true. Actually, you know what? I was going to say something else, but not, yeah. Space, Chaos Space Marines? What do you guys think about this set? So, he's using a very interesting combination of gear. Deep Ocean Marine teaming up with an astral spacewalker. Unbeatable gay duo. Uh, the Orcs of Azeroth ready for both space and ocean adventures and gay stuff. Lots of gay stuff. Well, thank God you mentioned that. Because I, I wouldn't have known that until you, you know, emphasized that multiple times. Uh, thank you very much. So, what I originally thought this looked like was like the original concept art. This is like the original concept art, and this is what the final product actually ended up being. <laughs> but um, overall, I like it a lot. So you've got obviously Scythe of the Unmaker there. Those shoulders there come from the uh, Wild Gladiator set for Paladins, I think. The chest piece, the gloves, and also, yeah, the chest piece and the gloves come from both the uh, Mythic, uh, sorry, Heroic. Uh, Throne of Thunder set, and then the leggings also come from Throne of Thunder from another difficulty. And I really like what you did there. Like, this, this right here, I want to emphasize, is confidence. This is fucking confidence. This guy used this belt right here, which is the, uh, check the cloak too. Oh, dude. That is good. That actually is good, dude. I, I The funny thing, the reason why I'm a little bit biased here, is whenever I tried to make a transmog to match with the Legendary Cloak, I use the exact same set. Uh, in terms of, like, the uh, the under set. Uh, the, um, the Throne of Thunder set. Because uh, I thought it matched the best. But uh, my set obviously wasn't as good as this one. Uh, honestly, it wasn't. So those boots right there come from the Tier 14 Warrior set uh, in Mists of Pandaria. That belt there comes from the same place the shoulders do. That helmet there comes from the normal or heroic, I forgot which coloration it is, uh, version of the DK set from High Maul. And then the leggings there are also from the other set um, from Throne of Thunder. So he's using two different, uh, two different color themes of the set in order to create a gradation of colors that goes all the way down to the bottom so he can match his yellow leggings with these yellow leggings instead. This right here is very, very well done. Uh, I like it a lot. And the attention to color and detail, and even whenever you look at the weapons, uh, the weapons hilt there, and you match that with the colors, it's also very well done too. Now let's look at this guy's set. So those shoulders right there are the specific shoulders that only drop from Mechagon. And uh, they drop from the fourth boss. They're called, I think, the Tank Busters Pauldrons. I could be wrong about that, though. Uh, the helmet there comes from the uh, Tomb of Sargeras set and, uh, for DKs. And those gloves there and also the boots come both from the Mythic uh, High Mall set for, uh, um, for DKs. And then the Tabard, of course, is the Tabard of the Rust Bolt Resistance. Belt right there comes from Wad PvP. And uh, I don't know where the legs come from, actually. And then the weapons, of course, also come from High Mall. Sorry, Blackrock Foundry as well, from Hands and Franz. What do you guys think about this set? It's like, these feel like the... These are like the King's Guard of Atlantis. This is fucking badass. Legs from Mechagon as well? Really? Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, regardless, I really, really like this a lot. The second one is like Gormit. Uh, left one is real good? Yeah, I, I really, really think this is very well done. I don't see how they're a set, bro. Um, obviously, like, it's the story that you tell. And um, I I'm judging all of them in terms of, like, how they complement each other. I do think that the color themes that they're both using do complement each other in a good way. So I, I like it a lot. 
White Tones, the Alliance Slayer, and Thunder Axe, Veteran of the Horde. What are you guys supposed to be? Horde Veterans slash Partners in the Arena? Oh, you're both Warriors. Let's see how that turned out for you. About what I expected. Um, so, uh, yeah. I... Uh, I mean, these are two, like, yeah, obviously it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not a fan of this, honestly. I, I really don't think so. Um, obviously, they're, they're trying. This set, I like, obviously, the helmet there that he's using. I think it's a great helmet. I like using it a lot. But I don't think that it really works very well with the rest of this set. And um, overall, I just think that there's no synergy between these sets at all. I mean, these aren't Horde Warriors. This is just dumb and dumber. And um, by the way, Thunder Axe, I'm sorry to say, but you're the one that's dumber. Like, this one is, this set is so bad, man. Like, it, it's so bad. It, it is so fucking bad. Uh, all right, can you get off your, get, yeah, what is this here? I, I don't know, guys. Like, I, I really don't think this is good. Like, a, am I right about this? Like, uh, d tell me, technically my achieves, 100% right, it's okay. I don't think that it's that great, okay, guys? I'm gonna be 100% real, 200% honest. It, it's an average looking set that I don't think is really worth a whole lot of, um, a, a, a whole lot of excitement. It's a decent looking set, though. I don't want to take anything away from it in that way. Red eyes, though? Yeah, the red eyes are pretty cool, to be fair. Uh, it could be much better, though. Let's say that for sure. Uh, light stones is definitely a little bit better. Thanks for competing guys. I appreciate it What's this one shout out to heartbreak and Layla Stylus Miyakami and stylus crazy Hmm Hmm love you Asmon love you too um I don't know, man. Like, I, I, we didn't expect to get in, to be honest. Is that why you're not prepared? Yeah, is, is that why you're not prepared? Uh, so obviously the Tauren is a Twitch bot. <laughs> okay, um, so look, obviously these weapons right here come from Mythic Bethelak and Firelands. Uh, a lot of these other pieces just come from Nylotha. The leggings and the gloves do, I'm pretty sure. Or not leggings, and the shoulders do. And uh, Tabard there comes from uh, Shadow Moon Valley from back in the day. Uh, those shoulders, of course, are the... Um, those are from the Darkshore Warfront, and then so are the gloves as well. And then the weapon there comes from one of the five-man dungeons in Warlords of Draenor. So I think this is a decent-looking combination, okay? But I do really think that the, uh, the Blood Elf does a much better job than the Tauren does. I, I don't know about you guys. Which one do you guys like more? The Torin one? I love you, chat. See, look at him trying to fucking... Trying to tilt the odds in his favor, man. Shamelessness. Listen. I think this is a decent looking set. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, the combination of the gear, I really don't think is very strong, though. Uh, Simp? Oh, come on, dude. Bald? Uh, look at this. Like, it literally just fucking, like, changed on a dime, man. They're already turning against me. Looks like a torn bring his trophy wife to the fucking event. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come here, honey. <laughs> Come here. They have to see us together. <laughs> yeah, listen, dude. Uh, it, it could be better, but it could be worse. All right. Uh, regardless, I, I think that it's okay. And look, look dude. It's okay. All right, Blood Elves are hot enough for it to be okay for you to simp for him, okay? Um, yeah, that that's fine. He won her in a duel. <laughs> She's so fucking funny to think. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, he didn't win her in a duel. Okay. What the hell's he... Fucking idiot. Okay, all right, let's see what this guy is. Abomin- Oh, wow. Wow. Is this like- Is this a multi-boxer? It's not. That's the first thing that I thought. It's like, is this a multi-boxer? It's not. 
Holy shit, this is really good. Abomination and Abomination from Scarlet Scourge. We're a, we're a guild? I see that. Uh, I definitely see that. This is fucking awesome. So that sword right there is Black Fury that you're able to get from the Thorium Brotherhood reputation in Vanilla WoW. That helmet there is also the Molten Helm that's a crafted leather helmet from Vanilla WoW as well. Those shoulders there are one of the war, uh, monk sets that come from, I believe, Throne of Thunder. And uh, those gloves and I think also the boots there are, I don't know if those are what I believe they are. Is that tier two? I don't think it is. Um, regardless, they're both using the Scarlet Tabards. And uh, those gloves right there are from the heroic set from uh, Firelands for DKs. That belt right there is from—it's from the Warrior Deadly Gladiator gear from the first season of, of Wrath of the Lich King. These shoulders here are the um, PVP offset shoulders for Horde only for Legion PVP. And that helmet there also, of course, comes from Heroic Firelands for Warriors. Um. Check capes. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Theme is cool. Mog is terrible. I actually am okay with this transmog being tattered, okay? Like, one of the big reasons why I, uh, I went over and I stopped going, I stopped playing Undead is because gear on Undead looks stupid. Like, that's ultimately is named Abomination. Wait, what? What? That right there, gentlemen, is what you call dedication. That right there is what you call some motherfucking dedication. We could have done a whole... We are a world PvP guild. We gank Stormwind very often. We used to do an Argent Dawn, but now we transferred. Why'd you guys transfer? Yeah, what made you want to transfer? It's very clever what you did with the... Uh, you also have a YouTube channel, The Scarlet Scourge. Hashtag ad. I'll take it. This is a really good set. And uh, you know what? We got a little bit extra content out of it. So yeah, fuck it. This is really smart. Like this kind of stuff right here. I really mean this. I think that RP guilds, it's RP realm. So we got bored. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly thought you probably have more shit to do there. Regardless, I think this is a great looking fucking, it's a great looking combination, okay? This is like, remember whenever you kill Balnazar in, uh, in the fucking place, and then all the Scourge start coming in and like invading? These are the two guys that pop the fuck up. This is, these are the guys that come up. Yeah, and strap them. Yeah, exactly. Bald Nazar, shut up. Uh, yeah, you guys know what I mean. Uh, these are really, really well done. Uh, when we gank, we use the same transmog, by the way. I'm looking at that. Hated with Argent Dawn? No roleplayer rules? What the fuck is this? The crimp? What the fuck is it? Look at them all. I, I just want to see what this is here. of Lordaeron whispered the name. Role player. No king rules forever, my son. Okay. So what happened to your favorite crusaders, you ask? This is actually good. Let me tell you the story of how our previous YouTube video triggered the most sensitive Argent Dawns. Entire guilds grouped up and sent around 50 individual tickets for a blizzard for our names to be removed. Oh my god. What the fuck? So they mass reported every single person in the guild. I hate non roleplay names too. What the fuck are you talking about? This is the most roleplay thing that you could possibly imagine. They're a mindless scourge. They use the exact same transmog. This is not, this is, it's not 100 IQ roleplaying. This is 200 IQ roleplaying. This is awesome. They make videos about this and everything. How could you say this is not role playing? Th that's awesome. But all those insults thrown at us, one in particular stood out. An abomination of Argent.
a new generation of fighters arises. No, dude. No, dude. Oh my god, look at them all. And they are using all the same sets. What the fuck? Uh, these are, the video is really, really fucking cool, guys. It's a great video. And, um, yeah, you guys are doing some cool shit, okay? Alright, let's go to the next one. Kiramox, the Insane, and Adish, the White of Dawn. Both from the guild, total garbage. Oh, as we go, we really love the streams and we play, and yes, we are furries, but everyone should enjoy playing how we want to play. What does it say again? Um, but everyone should enjoy playing the game how they like and the race they enjoy playing. Hopefully, no hate from race and you will judge it fairly since I tried my best for this smog with my friend. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. So, I, I think this set's a little bit odd. I think that it, it looks good if you don't look at it very close. Like, from this distance, it looks great, okay? Uh, it, it certainly does. But you get up a little bit closer, and, and then you start to see a little bit of cracks in the armor here. Uh, there's a little bit of problems that, you know, arise that we can't really see are, are ideal. Uh, this is a little bit of an issue. Uh, right is abomination. I, I think the right one, so the helmet here is obviously supposed to match with the tabard. And I understand what you're trying to do with that. But I, I personally don't think that it goes very well. Now, we hardly ever do see Volpira in general. And um, I, I think that's not really a surprise. But, you know, whenever we do see a really good Volpira set, we will give it consideration. But gentlemen, is this actually a good Volpira set? Is this a good Volpira set? Let me know. Left yes, right no. I think the left set is much better than the right one. Um, overall, I do feel like these guys are like, imagine if the Scarlet Crusade started recruiting Volpira, you know, or they started uh, they started indoctrinating their own cats or their foxes, I guess. And uh, this is pretty much what you'd get out of it. Uh, obviously, the set does look pretty good at Scarlet Monastery and boss. Scarlet Monastery pet battle dungeon and boss. Regardless, uh, this is a pretty good looking set. Uh, I guess so. Um, not ideal. Probably not a top three. But overall, I think that it's pretty good. Guild <laughs> checks out. Oh, come on, dude. Uh, you guys did all right, okay? Let's go to the next one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. These guys ride motorcycles, let me tell you that. Huntsmaster Throwock and Stylist Excalibur. Okay. So these, these guys are straight out of Draenor. Um, yeah, I, I think this actually does look pretty cool. So the, uh, the pole arm there is obviously, I think this is from, oh, that's from Legion. No, that's not from Legion. That's the Wild Gladiator's Pike. And, uh, these gloves and the, wait, the shoulders, I don't even know where these are from. And the chest piece comes from Island Expeditions. I know that. Chest piece here comes from Warlords of Draenor. Gloves and shoulders come from, uh, Mythic and Taurus. Uh, belt there comes from uh, LFR, Hellfire Citadel. Leggings there come from Elrath, Men, Pharaoh, and Mythic, and uh, uh, Emerald Nightmare. And then the boots there come from, I think, PvP, or uh, I don't remember which coloration it is. And it's also the Fury Warrior Hidden Artifact appearance. So what do you guys think about this set? Knack shoulders? Oh, no, those are not knack shoulders. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's Okay. I mean, it's okay. I don't think this is like a crazy, awesome, amazing, cool set. I just think that it's all right. Uh, Heroine, their heroines are fine, okay, guys? Like, I understand that, you know, anytime that any character comes on here, can I show you something? Yes, show it to me. Let me see it. Yeah, let's see it. Is this what you wanted to show me? You wanted to show me that you had the mount that I don't have, is that right? This really, this is the, the peak of comedy here. As you guys can see, it's very, uh, real funny guys, wait. I got something else, okay. Oh, I know you, you're from Reddit. Okay, that's great. Um, yeah, uh, really good job guys, really proud of you. 
Uh, you guys doing a great job. He just achieved, he achieved a double comedy, okay? <laughs> he achieved double comedy right there. <laughs> Two real comedians. All right, anyway, guys, uh, good job. Let's go to the next one. Fire and ice. Gladiator reminiscing and Arena Master 100 slaps. How well we are ice and fire, okay? Um, blue and red equals purple. Oh, so that means that you guys have to win then, right? Uh, according to chat. So I, I do like this combination. I think that it looks really cool. So the Frostfire shoulders there with the uh, mage on the left, or right, excuse me, uh, does look really good. All the rest of these pieces, is this the Priest Tier 3 gear? What the fuck? That's crazy. The Priest Tier 3 gear. Wow. I actually kind of like that. That looks really good. And then that's the uh, the tabard of the uh, uh, of the protector from the Scarlet, or sorry, the Shadowmorn quest line. And uh, that staff right there is the Edict of Argus, which comes from uh, the blue one, which means that it comes from Heroic Archimond in Hellfire Citadel. And then this one over here, I think, actually does look really good too. The sword is a little bit odd, but everything else besides the sword, I really, really like. This almost reminds me of like the belt and the gloves and the shoulders there. Remind me almost of like a Vinthyr set, if you could expect to see, expect what that would be. Tabard of the Wiper. I always say Tabard of the Protector. Protector's Tabard is from uh, the um, uh, pre-expansion event for BC. Um, all right, let's see here. See, you know they get on those mounts. Like, let me tell you guys something. Any time that you see a pvp -er, you can almost always guarantee that they're going to either get on a gladiator mount or on a TCG mount. Every fucking time, dude. You've got the brown cock, and is this the swift spectral tiger? Oh, it's a swift. It's got those little things on its tail. You know what that means? It's worth a thousand extra dollars. This is really, really good, guys. Uh, you have a theme that you're obviously going with. Uh, both of the characters are working together. And then also the ice one is dead, which it's like, you know, a cold body. I think that makes sense. So it's got like a secondary meaning along with the original base meaning of the sets and the, uh, and the combination. I think this is really good. Yeah, what do you guys think? You guys like it? Check their ratings. Okay, I'll check their ratings. Oops, wrong one. 2.8k. This guy's probably going to get rank 1. Uh, let's see here. This is 2.2k. Uh, Alright, well. Just keep going. That's really, really good. I'm proud of you. Professor Brutalina and Assistant Professor Katza. Praise Nazoth. Okay. Okay. Those look good. I agree. I think these look really good. I like them a lot. Uh, so let's see what we've got here. So those shoulders right there are the... Um, those shoulders and the boots are from the uh, heroic set from uh, Throne of Thunder. Actually, that's the normal mode set from Throne of Thunder for uh, DKs. The chest piece is from the uh, DK set from uh, Old War for DKs from Tin Man. And then the weapons are, of course, obviously the sword from... Uh, uh, yeah, this is not with the weapons, okay? You know where they're from. Uh, and then belts also from the same place in Throne of Thunder. Helmet is, of course, the uh, the PvP helmet, I believe, uh, for uh, for Nylotha. And then the gloves here come from Wrath of the Lich King, I believe. They're PvP or something like that. It, it's been a while in terms of the gloves. Let me actually look at this. Uh, what is this here? Gla Grasps of Serpentine Might. I don't even fucking remember. Uh, regardless, I really like this set, and I always like it whenever people use two different sets of arm, or two different weapons. I think it's really cool. Uh, nor do I. Yeah, I don't fucking remember. Uh, regardless, let me see here. Serpentine Mount? No, no. It wasn't from SSC. So this set right here, what do you guys think about this set? So these are the, uh, you know, Nazoth's champion. I have no idea where this hodgepodge comes from. No, yeah, that's about, about the case. Uh, good looking, but wrong boots. I think the boots are okay. Uh, gloves are heroic tier 14 for DKs. Really? What? Okay, alright, well, I'll have to look at it later. Regardless, I think this does match really well. In terms of a color theme, these guys are on the motherfucking mark, dude. Like, this is a very, very well done color theme by both of them. I like it a lot. So, check the back. Okay, let's look at the back. Ooh. Why do you have a backpack? Do you have to, uh, you know, corrupt Azeroth at 6, but you have Community College at 7? 
Just an XD. Okay. All right. I got it. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, ruined. Uh, no, no, it's okay. Uh, it's just X it's just XD, guys. I mean, come on. It's just XD. We don't have to hold that against them too much. Overall, I think the color theme works really well together. Can show the proper back. Go ahead. Let's see the proper back. Yeah, let's go. A backpack here. Yeah, that's where he puts all of the uh, all of the corrupted relics that he uses for Nazoth in his backpack. Oh, that cloak actually looks really good. I like that a lot. Yeah, both of these cloaks work very well together. Uh, I think this color theme of the characters works very, very well, and I like it a lot. Yeah, this actually does look really good. Uh, good job, guys. What the hell is this? Come on down. Come on down. Hi, Am Amons. Hi. Remuon the Kingslayer and Necronanny the Kingslayer. So what are you guys supposed to be? I have mounts. Okay, let's see it. So basically, these guys are two discontinued. These guys are two discontinued uh, action figures from a Mortal Kombat game that wasn't actually licensed by Konami, and uh, or by whoever makes Mortal Kombat, and so they were discontinued. And these are just like the leftover action figures that you can still buy at a flea market. Uh, th this is what you have right here. Um, is it Konami? I don't remember who makes fucking Mortal Kombat. I don't care. Uh, pets are the actual Pog. Are they really? Asmon? And Pink Sparkles. My fucking god. <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. Whatever. Uh, it, it is what it is. Yeah. These guys are fucking goofballs, okay? And you know the funniest thing about it? Is I thought to myself, I'm like, there's somebody that has a name Necro Nanny. I bet this guy's gonna be pretty clever and come up with a really cool looking transmog. And instead we have uh we have Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Yeah, it's uh, Abe's Odyssey. Yeah, it's hard really to say that, man. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Overall, it's okay. Uh, dumb and dumber. Well, this is dumber er and big stupid. What about this? Okay, what about what? Oh, well, hopefully we'll get the Grinch. All right, next. Keoheim, servant of Inzoth. Zaisu, the Kingslayer. So two Eastern warriors out on adventure. Zaisu started playing WoW two to three months ago, so he didn't have much to work with overall, but we went with the samurai theme for our deluxe uh, that looks decent. All right, so he's a bit of a new player. Let's go ahead and see if that's actually true. Uh, comparing it, 5,000. He's a new player, oh my God. Also shout out to my friend Sindo for being left behind. Hey, sometimes you get it, sometimes you get God. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, what do you guys think, guys? Yeah, new player. I'm telling you guys, there are new players that come into the game. The problem is not that new players don't start playing. The problem is that people stop playing. That's the issue. Um, regardless, uh, I think this is a pretty good combination here. What do you guys think? You guys like this? Uh, I like the one on the left a lot more, obviously. The one on the right is like... I mean, let's be real. It's like three pieces of gear. But the guy just started the game, so it's not really what you would expect to see, okay? Uh, so that's kind of the way that I see it. Uh, let's see what's left one's tabard. Uh, the left one's tabard is the tabard of the um, Lore Walkers in uh, uh, Miss of Pandaria. Uh, yeah, I like this, man. I think it looks really, really good. Uh, it looks like a Ronin and a Corrupted Samurai. Yeah, like the whole Corrupted Samurai like theme is used a lot, so I don't really take it that seriously whenever I see it. But if I had to think about it at all, I would say that this one does look pretty good. Uh, I like it, and I think that it's pretty well put together. So this overall is a pretty good set, and uh, the combination works pretty well together. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, shit. Shadow Order, the Uncorrupted, and Pyrium. Uh, the un or, sorry. Um, oh, he's from the guild. Um, and Viv DH, the Uncorrupted. Okay. So these guys, um... Okay. So these are like Blood Elves that fuck with Fel Magic. Shout out to my boy. Like, who is this? Uh, Geo and Treatum watching. Kyle as well. Okay, yeah. Shout out to Kyle. Um, so th this chess piece here is like a really odd choice, okay? And so are the fucking feet. Okay, it's a little bit odd, don't you think? Um, so... 
the chess piece here is obviously the tier three warlock chess piece play cart chess piece uh the belt there and the shoulders and the gloves here all come from the mists of pandaria challenge mode set for warlocks and then that dagger there comes from i believe is that mythic manoroth i don't even know where that one's from oh that's the uh, of course it's got the helmet with it it's the uh, demonology weapon i i feel like this set kind of sucks like, i want to be honest i feel like this set kind of sucks it's not that good legion yeah i understand um it's not that good uh, I, I like what you're doing, and I think that if you go, if you do it from a pretty pretty long, I knew it was you. I knew it, because I looked over there, I'm like, who would possibly do that? And then I immediately turned around, I'm like, oh, I know who it is. It's stupid over there. Yep, it's stupid. Hey, everybody, everything's about you, right? What? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what I do? <laughs> on the screen uh, mom clip it clip it clip it i'm on asmogold's stream right now clip it i'm just show dad he's not coming back where's the other guy 50h the corrupted was that too far okay so um regardless i, I like one thing that i do like a lot about this a lot it, can I say? What do you have to shout out somebody else? I'm statistically the best player here. Um, let's see. All right, 2100, 500 arena games played. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, uh, this is a it's a pretty good looking set. Obviously, uh, I like it. I do think the combination does look pretty good. Yeah, I mean this. This is a, uh, it's a pretty good looking set. What do you guys think? Uh, I like also the, um, the weapon illusions, or not illusions, but like the outlines uh, around like the two weapons for like both of the characters. Obviously, these are like, you know, the fell, uh, uh, the fell blood elves that, you know, they turned to fell magic after the Sunwell was destroyed, like we watched in the video. Uh, I think this is pretty good. Um, obviously, the, uh, the male one is not really as strong as the female one, personally. I think the female one is much more unique and interesting. The male one is basically the challenge mode set. Oh, you're using the boots from the challenge mode set, too. Oh, my God, dude. Come on. You're not even trying. Hey, come on, dude. What are you doing, man? This, he's got to do a much better job, okay? This could have been way fucking better. All right, let's go ahead and take the next one. Skull on Glaives matches the Artifact Skull. Oh, that actually is good. Yeah, the Skull on the Glaives matches the Artifact Skull. Nice job. All right, that's all of them. Now, gentlemen, prepare yourselves. I will be doing the top five best combinations. So you have a 25% chance to get into this. Uh, actually, a, a higher than that, like a 12% chance. You guys will all have your chances. Get ready and be prepared. Chat. Let me know what you think. Shit, dude. Now they're airborne. This mount is so fucking cool. I like it a lot. I'll go through a few laps around so you guys get a chance to see everybody. I don't know who we're going to give this to. This is a hard decision. Your event brought us together. We met 20 minutes ago through the pre-made group finder. Awesome, man. That was awesome, dude. How about that? Yeah, that actually is really fucking cool. Okay. So, we've got to pick our top five. Did I mention my partner here started playing even recently as barely even mogged? Well, I mean, you made it work, dude. Nice job. Oh, look at that. It's a real life transmog. Look at that, dude. Let's see here. Yeah, can you believe that, dude? Abominations. Yeah, fire and ice. I'm trying to decide what I want to go with here. This is kind of a hard decision. Hmm. 
Honestly, these mounts right here, really fucking, these take it home. Like, this is really impressive. I like this a lot. I like that a lot, guys. It's going to be hard for me to decide. I'm going to have to start writing these down. Give me a minute. This is a very, very tough decision. I have to make sure that I make the most ethical choice possible. Hmm. Hmm. All right, gentlemen. Hey. Hey. Who the hell did this shit to me? Uh, it, all right, you know what? Let's go ahead and we'll start. Same hair. Yeah, sure. Fifth place. Fifth place in the competition. It's going to go to a group of people that I feel like really deserve it. I like this set a lot. It's a very hard decision for me to make between what I'm going to give fifth place to and the other one. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to give fifth place to the edgy boys right here. I really, really like this set. I like the combinations. I think both of them are imposing and dangerous, and I think they absolutely deserve a placing here and an acknowledgement for how badass their set is. The combinations look really good, and I think that the difference in terms of their armor makes it worthy of a placement on the list. This is a great job. Good work, gentlemen. What countries are you from? Sweden. There it is. I live in Italy, but I'm not Italian. Romanian? How about that, dude? Nice fucking job on your set, dude. Nice fucking job. Good work. Fourth place. Fourth place. Tough decision for me to make. I feel like there's going to be one set in here that I'm not going to be able to give it to that I think actually deserves a placing. But... It's just, it is what it is. I'm going to give fourth place to a Rathian Go. I love these sets. I think the story that the sets tell and what they do together is really, really interesting. I think that the, uh, the Explorer, each of the transmogs independently is very well done. I like it a lot. I understand some people are disagreeing with this. I can understand that. I think that partially this is subjective in terms of the theme and what you feel appeals to you. But for me personally, I think this set and this combination is well thought out. It's interesting and it's unique. We haven't seen it before. And I think because of that, I want to give it some acknowledgement because it's really, really nice. Great fucking job, guys. Amazing job. What country are you from? Slovakia. Uh, same? All right, dude. Nice fucking job, guys. You, you guys did great. Third place. Third place is a set that I think is uh, very interesting and very well put together. And I like it a lot. Third place is going to go... Third place is going to go to Reminiscing in 100 Slaps. I really like both of these sets. I think they come together very well. The Fire and Ice. Uh, here's why I really think they deserve this. I think it's really, really good. Uh, is because the helmet that that guy is using is a removed from the game helmet. And it matches perfectly with the other helmet that the other guy is wearing. Like, that's why I thought, like, I'm like, oh, this is so well done. Like, they planned this out so well. And, like, the whole theme around it was really good. Everything about, around this set is very, very well done. And uh, the combination, I think, works perfectly. Weak shot, thanks for a thousand bits. I appreciate that, man. 
Yeah, I really, really, really fucking like this a lot. Uh, great job. Purple equals win. Shut up. It's red and blue. Uh, it's red and blue, not purple. Hi, I'm from Swiss. Skull. Shout out to Kip and uh, Tequila Slog uh, and crew. All right, man. What about you, 100 Slaps? What country are you from? Yeah, what country are you from? Denmark. And shout out to Sosa 300, dude. Man, I feel like I'm doing so many shout outs. It's like a Pitbull song. Well, whatever. All right. Good job, guys. You're third place. Second place. Second place. Chief Keep, or does he do it? I haven't listened to Chief Keep before, honestly. I am not initiated. Second place. This is going to go to the abominations of the Scarlet Crusade. Not only this set, everything about this set is perfect. I absolutely love it. And I will explain why at first. Okay, I'll explain why. I'll give the other group first, okay? But first thing, I want to go ahead and explain this one individually. Uh, obviously, the I mean the videos that you guys made, the, the names that you guys have, the whole fucking story behind it, everything about it, it is fucking amazing. I, I love it. Uh, I think it's really, really good and interesting. And everything about this whole... Uh, if you guys think they're the winners, that's fine, right? I mean, uh, the chat gets to vote on a real winner. So I'm just picking my top five. Uh, and, and, like, that's why. Yeah, you guys get to pick the winners anyway. Like, it, I don't even know why you're getting upset about it. Like, you guys get to pick the winner. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, regardless, both of these look really, really good. I love it. I think it's very well, well, well done. And uh, also, I think, like, just the story and everything about it. Like, there's nothing about this set that's wrong. And it's the... The richness of the lore behind it, I think, is really interesting, and it makes it uh, even better. So, great job. Now. First place. First place. I'll get their country in a minute. First place. Yeah, they... Look at these simps in the back. Look at these simps in the back, dude. Can you believe that? We got it, dude. Oh, shit. Okay, look. This set's the, it's the best one. Like, I, I, I think it's the best set. The reason why I gave these guys first place and the other guys second place is I felt like their original, their uh, individual transmogs were of a higher quality. And I understand that, like, you know, you have the tattered look because you're going with an undead set. Yeah, 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 I get it. But these were just higher quality transmogs. And I think they also told an interesting story. And, and that's why I'm giving them first place. Uh, I, I really like these sets. I think they're incredibly well done. Both of them match together perfectly well. And I think this is by far the best set in here the same tabard like everything about this like both of the armor sets just fit so well together i mean there's really uh, honestly like besides that other set i really don't think anything else even comes close to this personally uh this set is just obviously my number one red equals win okay well it's, now it's a new meme okay yeah great fucking job now gentlemen There were a few people that got robbed, okay? I thought that the gay space marine was probably my... That was my sixth place. Like, I, I, I was really close with that. This one was really cool, too, but I just... I don't know. I just kind of just didn't go with it, you know? Um, but, yeah, I like these a lot. Now, yeah, what country are you guys from? German? All right. Ireland? All right. There you go. Poland, okay. All right, now let's get back up to the top. I feel like the reason why you guys want me to get their country is that if they have the same country as you, you feel like you're kind of winning by extension of, you know, nationality. It's like, well, you know, my country just won. It's like if you win the World Cup or something like that. Uh, I just thought of that and I realized why people like it. All right, let's get our uh, our first place winners in the front here. Yeah, what, what country are you guys from? Before I forget, again. Serbia. Germany. 
I say this before, I say it again. I really think that gaming is probably one of the coolest fucking things that gets people to play with each other from all around the world. I think that it encourages a certain level of understanding and like kind of uh, shared uh, shared world. I, I think it's probably the, one of the coolest fucking things about playing on EU and like playing on like the beta servers, is, like playing for people like on the other side of the world and just kind of like getting to know them. And like you talk about like your lives and it's like this person lives a completely different life. They look completely different than you. But actually, it's not that different at all. And I like it a lot. I, I really do. Okay. There's the poll right there. Vote it up. Vote it up. And I'm going to go through all of these right here. And you guys will be able to pick which ones do you like. Decide now. And the results are... The winner... Of the duo... Transmog competition is... The Abomination Sets. I, I thought they'd have a hard time losing, honestly. I really did. Uh, I, I think they did an amazing job. I, I feel like it's almost... It, it's very hard for us to say that they weren't going to win after there was such an interesting story that they that they created and they built up. Uh, I like it a lot. Abomination. Just DM me and uh, we'll figure out the artwork and uh, we'll get that done. Can you come to us for a photo? Uh, where do you want me to come to? Uh, regardless, I, I think that all of these sets, a lot of you guys in here really came in here with some great sets and some good combinations. Uh, here in the middle? Oh yeah, sure. Um, let me just get right there. Alright. I'll get off my mount real quick. Just give me a second. Um, there we go. Alright, and there we go. What the hell? Alright, we're good. I probably should change my... Okay, alright, that's actually even better. Yeah, that's even better, guys. Get the picture now. That's perfect. This is my spirit animal. You guys did a great job. Okay. Good. Did you get it? Okay, good. Congratulations, guys. So a round of applause for our contestants here. Let's have a, uh, a round of applause for our contestants. Let's get the fuck out of the way. Uh, let me go outside. We'll see what this is. I don't know really what to expect here, but I guess we'll find out in just a second. Let's see. Here we go. Don't give them credit. They're scumbags. Wait, who? Wait, who's a, who's a scumbag? Okay. Yo, what the fuck? That set's awesome. We had something prepared for you. 18 naked cowboys with throbbing cocks? Is that it? Is that what you had prepared? That's pretty cool, huh? That's awesome. This is what uh, it would look like if Final Fantasy did the WAD trailer. Yeah, and thank God they didn't. Oh, wait. If Final Fantasy did... Drink Bell Scream? Claim your Desu knee? You will all be cosplayers? Oh my god, what is this? Um, just a minute. Uh, premium membership of the Crunchyroll for only $6. Using the link crunchyroll.com slash gold chan. What the fuck is this, dude? What a bunch of goofballs. Nanny? We will never be... S oh my fuck. Oh my fucking god, dude. These guys are some real goofballs, I'll say that for sure. Well, anyway, guys. Well, anyway, guys. We've had a very good stream today. I appreciate everybody watching and hanging out and being part of it. I've enjoyed it a lot. It's been a very good time. So until next time, boys.